hard-hitting, high-octane extreme sports highlights and recaps, you're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now, here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Oh, Peg, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. First, the big news. They finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be the I Don't Know Coliseum for Sports. I like it. I hate it. We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling the station at 555 21 We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early this morning. In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. All other radio programs have been cancelled until further notice. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. Whoa, someone's in a rush. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Sorry, Sir Cantalk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait a minute. Dad? What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or whoever. Do you have the day off? I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. Then what are you doing here? I missed you. I guess I just wanted to come check in. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering for you at work. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? I'm not the one losing my hair. Yeah, who'd have thought not working at the gate would be the thing to stress me out more? Dad, if you didn't end up working at the gate because your dad did, and his dad did, and his dad did, what would you have wanted to be? You know, nobody's ever asked me that before. Well, nobody since your mother. What did you tell her you wanted to be? My father. You're just saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again, mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. We are so alike in so many ways. So long. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. See you, Dad. Attention! Oh God, is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did not pull a Randy. Thank God. I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia, the jail lever has been reinstated. You can get back in your chair now. Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? That's hilarious. Seriously funny stuff. Uh, no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. Any questions? How will I figure out who to deny and who to jail? Let's use a real-life example. Someone you've seen already. This criminal is best known for burning down orphanages full of sleeping children. What do you...
Good work, soldier. Just denying her would not protect the surrounding villages. And what's to stop her from going to the next gate and getting lucky with a guard like Randy? That's all I have to say about that. Any further questions? Well, I've got you. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Well, I grew up a military brat. Uh, my father was a general for the princess's grandfather, King Artemis. It Wait, why am I telling you this? You received your briefing, now do your duty. And just when I thought we were bonding. Hello there, my name is Butface. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just on the other side of the sprawl. I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. Sorry, did you say your name was Budface? Yes, yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill eight characters. I would have liked Spencer One or even Quincy Hart. But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. The old farm has not been doing too well as of late. I am afraid I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. I am quite horrible at growing vegetables, but I am your goblin if you need someone to gather pine cones. Maybe you can honor your great goblin uncle by becoming a really good forager. I hope so, because I am not sure I am cut out for the farming life. Just look at this rice I grew. Please take it. No one would buy it from me anyway. I never wanted to be a farmer. I always wanted to be a chocolate tear. I would source my own ingredients and make the best most delicious chocolate anyone had ever tasted. I would not have to dig or farm or fight scary monsters. There would not be anything scary about being a chocolate tear, right? Nothing would be terrifying about that. Thank <laughs> you. 
listen, I'm under strict rules not to let any goblins in today, but I think you're harmless enough. You may pass. Well, thank you kindly. I will be on my way now. If I happen to stop by this way again, I will be sure to bring you some more cr- Well, no charge of money anyway. It might cost you a day or two. Everyone who eats my produce gets violently ill. That sounds horrible. It is. So long. Hello there. I am coming into town. Yes. I would have liked. Sorry. I'm under strict rules not to let in goblins today. Access denied. This is an outrage. Where will I sell my low quality crops now? Everyone in Firewall Canyon is sick of them. I do not eat them myself, they do not look the best. And everyone at home literally gets sick from them. Any chance I could bribe you with some kale and celery? I think I'm better off without it. Sorry Great Goblin Uncle Jerry, looks like the family farm will have to make way for another condominium. Magic lovers of the sprawl, please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the Great Magician, Alakazoo, Alakazee! And I appear! Thank you, thank you! Wait a second, this doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh wait, there's one! Excuse me, are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. Then I'm in the right spot! Can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. Know how hard it is to be a children's party magician in this town? I have to compete with actual magic users. No one wants you to guess their card when some guy in a white robe can create fire or gold. That kind of thing you're born with. The only thing I was born with is a stigma. So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by me, the- Wait, but I'm not- Actually, I want to see where this is going. Now, for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? Nope. What else do you do? A lame children's party magician. You have to let him in. Quick, ask him what card I'm thinking of. Uh, what card is Malcolm the Jester thinking of? Alakazoo, Alakazee! The Seven of Diamonds? Wrong! It was a birthday card, obviously. Feliz cumpleaños, Becky! Maybe he's not as good as I think. Kill him! Or do whatever, I don't care. Before you go, want to see an actual magic trick? Tell him to pull his socks up. Hey, the court jester says, pull your socks up. Well, would you look at that? My glasses! Thank you, oh magical one! He says, thank you, oh mad. He hung up. Ever 
Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me! And now that I have my glasses, I should be able to find my way to the party no problem! Alakazoo! Alakazee! My magic career is saved! Hello! Hi! Hello! We would like to enter! I, I... I would like to enter the sprawl, please! And you are... Magnus the Magnificent! Renowned member of the Magies Guild! Surely you have heard of me! with you oh heck our cover is blown quick let's cheese it please don't do this we just wanted to see some friends you're blowing this way out of proportion forget it gary we're just a couple goblins in a human world we're sorry we're sorry oh sh we're both Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today? That I do not know, but it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Where have you journeyed here from? You really want to know? Oh, I've been around for a spell, always on the move. From the mountains north of Petrad, the Great Desert and the south of Marvog. Along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Kaladar and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. I've wandered through all of these many, many times. But for my money, there's no place like the sprawl. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful it all is. You can't buy that, little sister. I don't want to be rude, but you seem, well, pretty baked. Absolutely, little dudette. I feel like you shouldn't be telling me that. What's the difference? You already knew. particular blend, Peace Blossom, bringing joy and mirth wherever she goes. Medicinal, of course. I understand completely. You have a job to do when you're doing it. I hope you let that Peace Blossom spread and blow its beautiful bounty across the sprawl. I'm just gonna put it in this contraband box here. Yeah, man, that's cool too. This man may seem harmless, but his contraband narcotics have been giving the force headaches for as long as I can remember. He may not be dealing, but his garden has spawned an underground empire. This will be one of the great drug busts of my career. Cut. Stryker has always lived in a world of black and white. There's good and evil and nothing. If you're good in Stryker's eyes, you get nothing. Left to fend for yourself, but free. But if you're bad, the hammer of the law is swift and brutal. Small offenses come attached to massive mandatory minimum punishments. You've heard of three strikes and you're out? 
As far as Strack is concerned, it's two Stracks. The Strack you make and the Strack she makes. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister, and you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. Right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Lil, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. There's no time for your irritating brand of sarcastic millennial wit. By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Good. Any other week the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Summoned? Lilith, guardian of the southern gate, step forward into the light. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Lil, you have been chosen to play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for So You Think You Can Save a Princess. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventurer number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neo Warkiller! Adventurer number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands! And finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good, let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen! I don't... I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Stryker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite! Now, Lil, you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. Ooh. Hmm, 
Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? What's your idea of a perfect rescue? And who would you like to ask? Two words, smoke bombs, makes everything so much cooler. The best heists are ones where they don't even realize they are being robbed. Ocean's Eleven style, baby. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Let's not reinvent the wheel here. The easiest and fastest way to get the job done is simple. Smash and grab. What's simpler than that? I smack the baddies in their dumb faces, throw the princess over my shoulder, and hey, presto. Rescued. Boom. Done. And your second question is... You encounter an enemy party of magic users. One of them casts a level 3 magic missile spell. What do you do? And who's that one for? Level 3? Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Please, I reached level 3 in the tutorial. I could conjure an army of sparrows or moles or whatever small creature best suited my purpose. Wouldn't it be better to conjure larger animals? Maybe something more ferocious? More ferocious than a mole? <laughs> Actually, I'm not licensed to conjure anything bigger than a bread box, but, but they really are scary. You can ask another adventurer if you like. If you think a bunch of pointy hats are getting to jump on me, you've got another thing coming. But okay, let's suppose some Penn and Teller wannabes do get me in their sights. Just watch these dodge skills. I'm over here now. And now I'm here. And now I'm back where I started. Blink of an eye. I'm like Nightcrawler over here. That answer displayed a lack of honor, courage, and strength. I would have pummeled you with my response. Let's stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please, wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. All right, Neil, calm down now. Hmm. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. <sighs> Looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of Berserker mode. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Neil, uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. Neil, what's your favorite animal? Neil, look at this little fella. <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. I am calm. Phew, I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to choose? I think I got one more round in me. Lil, what's your final question going to be? What are your plans after you rescue the princess? And you're asking? For a warrior such as myself, there is no after. We live and die in the moment with no thought of what is to come. 
Retirement plans are for suckers. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Are you kidding me? I make this gig and I'm set for life. Rescuing the sole heir to the whole freaking sprawl? Insta retired, baby. I'll be sipping pina coladas on the crystal shores of Lake Inez before you can say, would you like a curly straw for that pina colada, sir? Oh, I love pina coladas. They mentioned it in my introduction. Then the first round's on me. I picked his pocket earlier. Uh-oh, you know what that means. I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. You're stupid. That sound means it's time for the lightning round. Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. All right, Articulus, are you ready for the lightning round? I am. Most impressive. I felt that a little. <laughs> well deduced that I'm an elemental mage, Lil. Yep, that wasn't a random lucky guess at all. Uh-oh, you know what that sound means! Oh god, not again! That sound means we are out of time! Alright, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is... Articulous Flame Hands, the mage! Aha! Wonderful child. Well chosen. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody! Then, I had to choose who the heck was going to rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. And don't even get me started on the lightning round. <laughs> you have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? Can't talk, Lil. Pretending to wipe the counter while I eavesdrop on the prince and the praetor over there. Can't talk. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> is everything okay, Beverly? No, Lil. No, everything is not okay, Beverly. My dear true love, Princess Desdemona. Just to recap. This is the dear true love that you've never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium? You phrased that so beautifully. Yes, that same she. What about her, Bev? When I'd heard she'd vanished, I tried to get on So You Think You Can Save a Princess, but none of the advisors wanted me as their champion. Beverly, you're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Mom always said I lacked that main character energy. Tell me what to do, Lil. Should I return to my job or go off to rescue my darling love? Go back to work. Oh, <sighs> you may be right. I don't have that many more vacation days. Listen, Beth, it's getting late. I'm gonna go. I understand. Farewell, Beverly.
pathetic, weak coward. You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. It is my understanding that you have selected a self-involved, pretentious mage as your choice of adventurer. Yes, that's right. Oh, the princess is as good as doomed. On behalf of the Marvog Empire, I must say you have made a terrible choice. On behalf of the Kingdom of Petrard, I couldn't agree more. Mages are untrustworthy. And pompous. And smug. And ugly. Okay, I think we're losing the thread a little bit here. That smug, pompous mage is the right person for the job. My concern is the safe return of Princess Desdemona. Not pleasing you. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, why, I never. <laughs> I won't forget this. What he said. I don't want to make things any worse than they are already. I'll leave that. been at this a while. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Take a look. I think I've done everything I need to do, but are you sure you're ready to hit the hay?